Some people die. We, you know, um, you don't know what the impact's going to be. When Princess Diana died, for example, there was a huge emotional outpouring. Uh, these kinds of Elvis Presley in our culture. By killing Qasem Soleimani, the U.S. has stripped Iran of an inspirational military leader. Even many of Soleimani's enemies admitted he was a military genius. Soleimani is, it's difficult to convey how revered he is. He's regarded as personally incredibly brave. The troops love him. I was trying to think of somebody, I was thinking of De Gaulle. He was the Cardinal Richelieu, he was the Machiavelli. I guess what disturbs me most about the coverage is that there are millions of people in Iran who did not mourn uh, Qasem Soleimani's death. So where was their side of the story? Where were their voices? In fact, I was talking to some of the Iranian opposition leaders just uh, yesterday, and um, one of them said to me, this funeral and this show of you know outpouring of grief was a theater for the Western media, and they bought the whole thing. You know, where were the pictures, um, such as the ones I was sent, of people burning Qasem Soleimani? picture in cities across Iran of people putting uh, pictures of the Iranian opposition leaders where were those pictures and you know Sean it was 1500 people who were killed just a few months ago okay, and there were um, Quds force snipers that were on the streets of Iran according to the opposition and according to news reports and to pictures that came out at the time and those snipers shot young Iranians in the chest and in the head so those people their families are not mourning Qasem Soleimani and what about those those funerals, how much coverage did you see of their funerals? Where is the voice of the Iranian people? There's not just one voice here. انشالله که تک تک سرداران سپاه به این درجه برسن انشالله که هر چیز بودتر تمام اینایی که اینا همه اینایی که شهادت رو دوست دارن و همه شون برن به اون جایی که قاسم سلیمانی رفت this was a missile. It was probably not intentional. So you're saying that they actually are incompetent a lot of the time. They have to be incompetent to let this happen. I mean, remember, you know, they, they have a lot of weaponry and all that, but the fact is, what they just did is cut themselves off from the rest of the air transportation system. No airline in its right mind is going to want to fly to Tehran. And at the end of the week, they'll have less air service in Grand Island, Nebraska, because no one wants to take a risk. Peace and stability cannot prevail in the Middle East as long as Iran continues to foment violence, unrest, hatred, and war. The civilized world must send a clear and unified message to the Iranian regime. Your campaign of terror, murder, mayhem will not be tolerated any longer. It will not be allowed to go forward. La irrupción de Vox en la arena política española están copando los titulares de los medios. Y si ya es grave no saber o no querer identificar al fascismo, ¿qué podemos decir de ponerse a su servicio? Sí, ya sé, ya sé lo que algunas personas van a decir. RT es una televisora Sí, ya sé, ya sé lo que algunas personas van a decir. RT, este domingo hay elecciones. Esto es propaganda. Otra vez. Y aquí cabe volver a destacar que el objetivo principal de Rusia es allanar el camino para que China, país amigo históricamente, tome las riendas de nuevo. Esto es propaganda. No, amigo mío. ¿Tú crees que Putin no le dio a mí? La más dictadura de Venezuela también es divertido. Esto es otra de las mentiras. La más dictadura, aunque no te guste. Rusia y China están poniendo las bases para lograrlo. Ya sé, ya sé lo que algunas personas van a decir. No, amigo mío, ¿tú crees que Putin no le dio bien?
Rus y China están poniendo las bases para lograrlo. Rusia tiene que reaccionar.